there's another prophecy! Oh! No, how can this be? The release of the powers from the death of Nick opened up a wormhole to the world of supervillains. I don't care about your stupid prophecy! My son is dead! There has to be something we can do! There is nothing we can do. Don't you ever speak to me, ever! The first part of the prophecy goes like this. Two new heroes will rise to defend against the supervillains. Hey uh, guys, do you see that shadowy figure behind the prophet or, or is it just me? <laughs> then, the one who can steal pow- oh, oh, oh. oh shit, he did! Who is that? Whoa, this dude is nuts! <gasps> no, Nick's gone! It has begun. You must seek out the giver. He took Nick. I would then take my half-brother! You must need him for something. Shut up. What do we do? What the prophet said. We need to find the giver. I'm not going anywhere with you. I'm gonna go find the creator. I'll see you guys. Don't be stupid. How are we gonna get our son back? We need you with us. Just because your sperm made him doesn't mean you're the father. I'm gonna find him on my own. With or without you guys. Goodbye. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with her because you two are freaking like psychos, so catch you later. Wait, can I come with you guys? Are you serious? Not only did you kill me, you're the reason my son's gone! I'm not that person anymore, I swear! Whoa, what are you talking about? It's been like two minutes since you just tried to kill the whole world. Please, Angelica, let me come with you. Let me make amends. Fine, but only because we can use your power. Well, good luck trying to find the giver or the creator. If only you had someone that's had 16 years of research on both of those people. Oh well. Fine, you can come with us, but if you come anywhere near me, I will have Chad rip your heart out. Uh, Nick's mom, I'm not, a, I'm not a violent person. Everyone, I'm super violent. In order to summon the giver, we need to chant his name three times. Wait, seriously? You also must sacrifice the thing you love the most. What if you don't love anything, huh? Everybody loves something. Well, I don't, so... <laughs> the thing I love the most is already gone, so I can summon him. You can't sacrifice something that's already gone. That won't work. I can do it. This is the only thing I have left of my son, Nick. <sighs> you don't love your son! You abandoned us! When will you realize I did it to protect him? Hey, Dad, you have something that reminds you of me or something, too? <laughs> I actually don't, Chad. To be honest, you were an accident. A word? Sick, Dad! <laughs> If you truly love your son, then that will work. Let's see. All right, what's the giver's name? The name of the giver is... But how much of an accident was I really dead? Like, was I like 100% an accident or something less? I would say 75% an accident. Okay. The giver's name is... Beans. There's no way the giver's name is Beans. He's the giver, not Beans. That is his name. If this is a joke, I will kill you myself. Beans. 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 Didn't work. It was supposed to work. I'm sorry. I'm gonna kill you. What the heck? Hey, come uh, on, baby Goyle. Yeah, come on. Come out. Like so much come on. Are you almost there? Yeah, you uh, Jesus, he's a large one. Mm -hmm. oh. oh! Jesus Christ. That was a nasty one. <sighs> What the oh my, oh my god, that is vile, bro! You're seriously the giver? Oh! I've never seen this before. You guys really summoned me while I was taking a shit. Are you serious? Beans, <clears throat> we need your help. How do you know my name? The only person I've ever told was Mrs. Teach. Mrs. Teacher? Beans, I thought I'd never see you again. Mrs. Teacher, why would you betray my trust? I told you not to tell anybody my name. This was an emergency. I had to. Do you not remember while we were having sex, I told you to only summon me if and only if the prophecy was complete and the supervillains began invading our planet. No, Beans, you sure you're not the prophet, dude? Because that's like exactly what happened, man. If you ever call me Beans again, I will strip away your power, take my fist and shove it right up your butthole until you die. Okay, damn, someone woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Jesus. If what you say is true, then where are the two new heroes? And please, do not tell me one of those heroes is this dude with the backwards cap on, because I want to kill this guy. Well, that's why we summoned you. We, we don't know who or where they are. Do you realize I give powers, right? I'm not a tracker. Well, I was hoping maybe you could give me the power to track. I cannot do such a thing. That will be disobeying the creator. You know that. Beans, please. We need to find them. I'm sorry, I cannot do that. Unless... Unless you promise to marry me after this is all done. 
Of course I'll marry you, Beans. I love you. I am so sorry to interrupt this lovely moment, but Giver, you should know that Mrs. Teacher just tried to kill the entire world like a few hours ago. I know, I was the one who drove her to insanity. Wait, what? She came to me 16 years ago asking for me to give her a power, and I said no. And then we had sex, and then I still said no. And this is why she's crazy. I'm not crazy. Anyways, let me touch you so I can give you your power. Finally, I have a power. <gasps> huh. All right, Mr. Teacher, now where are the two heroes that we need to find? Yeah, there might be a slight problem. <laughs> what is it, love? I'm sensing that they're in the world of supervillains. That's not possible. They wouldn't be heroes. They'd be supervillains. What if there's a deeper meaning behind all of this? What if it doesn't matter where you're born, but it's the decisions you make that make you what you are? You gave birth to this dumbass. All right, since we know where they are, let us go to the supervillain world. Follow me. How are we gonna get there, dude? We're on the world of superheroes. Good point, Shady. Let me talk to my father. One moment. Father, can you take us to the world of supervillains? What? Who's your dad? The creator. He said, sure. Everybody, touch each other. I didn't hear anything. And I love touching people. He's definitely a pedophile. We better find my son. I'm doing this for beans. Hey everybody, now we must chant the following words. O creator, O creator, you are my motivator. 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 I was just joking, you didn't have to do that. Anyways, hold on tight. O creator, O creator, you- Are you serious? Do you think you're funny? Where did everyone- And now they're gone forever. Father, I have done what you asked. I sent them to their deaths. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was pretty gnarly. What the fuck? Whoa. Oh my god. What just happened? Yo, what's up, Mrs. Teacher? Wait, where's my dad? And where's Nick's mom? Oh! I'm all right. Everything's fine. I'm right here. Dad, uh, you're glowing. Does that mean you absorbed everyone's power again? We all touched when we teleported, so I got everyone's power. Wait, where, where's Beans? And why is there a horde of people coming towards us? It's a trap. Beans didn't send us to find the two heroes. He sent us to our deaths. I knew Beans was a bad guy. It all makes sense now. Mrs. Teacher having segs with Beans. You don't have segs with Beans. You eat Beans. I had no idea he was evil. I swear. I'm sure you didn't, but we're not going to be needing you anymore. What? Yes, you do. I'm the only one that can track the heroes for the prophecy. I can give powers now, and you're no longer immune to powers. Goodbye, Mrs. Teacher. <gasps> Holy shit, Dad! Did you just disintegrate Mrs. Teacher? Yes. Yes, I did. And now for the horde of supervillains approaching us. Damn, my dad's a killer! What is wrong with you? You're letting the power get to your head! Do you want to find Nick or not? Yes. Alright, I'll teleport us to the place of the two heroes. Not a- I don't like this. Oh, holy crap, that was sick! Oh, here they are! What's up, guys? Looks like they're sleeping. They're not sleeping. They're dead. No, they're not! They're just resting! Look, this guy's trying to say something. I think he just said fun! No, he didn't say fun. He said run. Run from what? <laughs> Nick? Nah, Nick's dead. I killed him, remember? I've been expecting you, family. Nick, you're alive! Yo, half bro, what's up, man? I missed you, dude! Nick is dead. And soon, everyone else will be dead, too. Bro, is this like some type of prank, man? Like, why are you acting weird, dude? Be cool. My son, let us help you. We can get through this together. I'm sure if Nick were here, he'd be really happy. But that's not the case. The truth is, we've all been lied to. Again, dude? We got lied to last time, man. I'm tired of this bullcrud, dude. I had to kill every single person on this world to get my answers. Half bro? You're a murderer? The truth is, I'm the destroyer of worlds. Dude, this isn't a movie, man. You're no destroyer of worlds. You're Nick. You're my brother. Half brother. When I was taken, the supervillain showed me the truth, and then I killed them. What? What truth, did? Ragnarok. <laughs> what the heck? No superpower? How is that possible? 